When you think of having a flat tire, it's uh, not a pleasant thought. But a diner in Old Hickory might change the way you think about that term. You see, in our first story, Miranda Cohen takes us to a unique eatery and learns the story behind its catchy name. most of us, the mere mention of a flat tire brings up a lot of unsavory thoughts. But for people in Old Hickory, Tennessee, they hear flat tire and start to get, well, hungry. I like um, either the crunchy French toast or the chicken fried steak. Usually breakfast because it's hard to get good breakfast anywhere. Tom Mead and Cheryl Caballero are the owners of the Flat Tire Diner. Tom is a classically trained chef who always wanted to open an authentic American diner. And that's where all my beginning of my career started out was doing all the high-end expensive restaurants. And after a while, I just realized it's like, a, I, I just like a perfect burger that's made with a fresh bun and fresh meat and fresh ingredients. And it doesn't have to be a $50 burger, stuff like cinnamon rolls that we're making from scratch. Um, it's not, biscuits are everywhere. Most popular is probably just eggs and bacon. Just a simple eggs, bacon, and hash browns. It's hand selecting every single ingredient, every single item that, you know, down to our forks and napkins on the table. Very yummy and scratch, 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 scratch. It's a lot of hard work. Tom and Cheryl met years ago, working at what else, a diner. So they wanted to keep the menu simple, but add in some tasty twists and offer items no one else was serving up. We both came from the, the diner style, which is Americana food. Um, bacon and eggs is our most popular item. And I feel like that during stressful times, you eat what's comfortable. <laughs> And you know, it doesn't get much better than bacon and eggs and a cinnamon roll or pancakes or something. We knew we needed to stick with a cuisine that was gonna kind of survive time, um, be yummy for people in Tennessee. So we really looked at what we had to have for an Americana restaurant, but then looked at what other people weren't doing. The machaca though, that is a braised beef with the kind of salsa flavoring to it. Things like the pastrami. We just didn't find people doing pastrami around here. Um, the chicken fried steak. And about that clever name, the Flat Tire Diner. Tom and Cheryl came to Tennessee in a food truck. And as luck would have it, the truck was constantly having a flat tire. So we were on the food truck for about five years, I think, give or take. And uh, we all of a sudden started having a slow leak on one of the back tires, and it just drove me crazy, because we'd be late all the time. And then it kind of clicked for us. The flat tire really was what got this whole idea started. We'll go with Flat Tire Diner, even if it does make people wonder, are you changing tires? Are you cooking food? Before or after you have a delicious meal, make sure you check out the pictures on the wall. Each one depicts a special scene of, guess what? A flat tire. Paintings, prints, cartoons, and sculptures, you name it. Cheryl took the theme and rolled with it personally framing and hanging every piece of art. Now their collection of flat tire art is as impressive as their masterful culinary creations. Yeah, I'm a car guy, so I love it. So uh, I, I work on cars a lot, so this kind of thing's interesting to me. The creative name may bring you in the door, but the great food and staff will definitely bring you back. So I love how just everyone is so friendly and I love that they have such a great menu. It's huge and you can get so many different things on there. Owners Tom and Cheryl are constantly reminded of the importance of their devoted community and for those loyal customers who are keeping the flat tire diner 
running at full speed ahead. And it's just been continuous. The customers, the families, I mean, it really is like having a family around here. Having people come back and, and love what you have and being grateful. I've never actually experienced a so much of a we want you to be here forever. Let us know what we can do to support you to make sure you're here forever. And that's something I've never experienced anywhere else. That has definitely been very wonderful to have the neighbors so supportive of us.